you know, so this is kind of funny. Like this is a Wikipedia page of of a list of um, politicians who have been like I'm trying to get this a little larger here. Here we go. Who, who have been convicted of of crimes? <laughs> and and the first thing that's on this page, which is kind of funny, is you know the article's multiple issues. A big issue. This article may be too long to read and navigate comfortably. Because <laughs> there are so many of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, the the other the other thing too is 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 it says state and local. So is there another page for federal? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So, um, and you know it it's the same whether you, whether you're talking about you know the red states or the blue states. We're we're here in Massachusetts, so I always like to um uh, to look to our our local reps who have um found their way into being, uh, being arrested, convicted, accused. Um, let's go down here cause we got some good ones here. All right. Um, so we go, um, the, the big one that, that jumps in here is, is Sal Damasi on this one. So let's, let's look at old Sal. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Sal Damaki was the, the speaker of uh, the Massachusetts House. And, you know, he, um, let's see, what ended up to him? He eventually resigned in 2009. Uh, then he was indicted on several federal charges, including conspiracy to defraud the government, extortion, mail fraud, wire fraud, found guilty of seven and nine. Oh, and by the way, he was the third consecutive uh, Massachusetts House speaker to be federally indicted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what a clean house we have. Yeah, definitely. It, it, it's it seems like it's almost worse in the states that that are just controlled by one party, because I, I know that Illinois is also find finds himself in. We're we're going to talk about an Illinois story in a bit, but mm -hmm. but you know these situations where, um, where like in Massachusetts, it's it's probably like in the state legislature, like seventy or eighty percent Democrat, and has been for a long time. And our governorship is is it's not a weak governorship per se, but the the real like power player in the state is the is the state speaker of the house and so yeah it's the, it's these lists of guys culminating and like most recently sal de macy that ended up in federal prison after their terms it's it's almost kind of like mafia like which is uh which is funny too because was it was it bill bulger was it was at one point the speaker of the house who among other whitey's things, brother is famous for for so yeah. the famous whitey bulger who yeah. was a pull-up gangster fbi informant yeah um long list of murder victims and his brother, mm -hmm. Billy Bulger. Billy Bulger, yeah. Um, yeah, he was he was the Speaker of the House. He was the power in mm -hmm. in the state government for a lot of years, yeah. and uh, and they they never got him particularly. I don't think. No, I don't think so. But yeah, it's it's almost, it's almost like a like a cartel operation that that goes on. All right, now next uh, next in line on our. Um, what do we call it? A uh, government of criminals and mafia. Um, when I when I was kind of looking around around at this stuff, um, I noticed and remembered the Abscam scandal. Now this is uh, this is getting back into the uh, uh, late seventies, early eighties, and this is when uh, the FBI decided to start um, to start seeing if they did sting operations and um, offered money to members of Congress and reps, um, would they take it? And go figure, they they got some. <laughs> um, so they ended up uh, convicting six members of the House of Representatives and uh, one U.S. Senator. It was, um, Abscam was the code name for the, uh, for the operation and part of it is they would have this um, undercover agent dressed up like a like a rich um like a rich arab from saudi arabia and whatnot and just looking to to grease the wheels oh this was funny so so they, they also approached other people um john merther was someone they approached who actually turned them down and said that that he wouldn't you know he wasn't going to do that and so he, he got a lot of credit for that whether or not it was deserved who knows i mean i guess um, but I noticed here, uh, Bob Guccione, do you know who Bob Guccione, I don't know if he's still alive, who he is or was. I, I don't know him, no. <laughs> he was, 
the uh, longtime publisher of Penthouse Magazine. Oh, okay. Which is a, um, a um, magazine that published pictures of naked women. I always thought it was, oh, no, that was Hustler. There's, there's Larry, several, right? Larry Flint. And he, Larry, has, he has a whole history, right? He's another interesting character, yeah. Mm. But Bob Guccione, for some reason, they they approached him in all of this, and um, and and apparently, and his response was, "Are you out of your mind?" <laughs> and so, well, mm -hmm. I'm wondering why did they go after him? Is it was he? A... That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the FBI does whatever they want, right? <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't. Was he in office of some sort? Or... So, so there were connections, um, Atlantic City casinos oh, okay. um so i think he got kind of wrapped up in it that way um they approached him saying an arab sheik wanted to invest 150 million in a casino project but they had to get the gaming license the old gaming okay. license sure sure no mafia there right yeah not at all <laughs> all right so let's see next in our uh next in our tour of um of congressional iniquity here is uh, the the senator they got was named um I'll go back up here uh, this was the biggest fish that they uh, that they got out of it, it was uh, harrison a williams and um and he ended up uh getting convicted nine counts of bribery uh and conspiracy to use his office um and of course, they had all kinds of of excuses why you know he wasn't guilty. Um, oh yeah, yeah. His lawyers argued that um, that he had not actually been bribed because the stock that he was being bribed with in a titanium mine was worthless, <laughs> supposedly. Oh, it's an interesting defense. They also um, had a defense that he was a victim of selective prosecution. Mm. Which basically means they're all doing it. Why they pick on me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, which I, you actually hear sometimes, you know, when, when they when they talk about um, doing laws and things to combat corruption, and it's just it's like if they start doing that, that net's going to catch a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I know that. They also, they look like in the in the article uh, they, they talked about defense brought up entrapment, which is something I thought about too. Yeah, there was there was definitely controversy around ab scam and and kind of the tactics used. There was a fear of of the executive branch in terms of the FBI going after the legislative branch, and there you know, there, there are certainly potential concerns there. Yeah, in, like, entrapment's kind of a complicated one, but the, the the gist of it is that the law enforcement is not supposed to create crime hmm. per se. And so, like, if you think about it, in um, like, like one of the like worst things ever, and it was it was awful because it also became um, like entertainment. Was there used to be a show called uh, Bait Car, which the the gist of that was uh, police departments would go and just like leave these like nice vehicles out, like with the door open and just like a key in the ignition, and they would basically wait for somebody to just like hop in and just like take the car. <laughs> And they would just like chase him down and like arrest him for like Grand Theft Auto, which is like a felony and like a serious felony. And so like, you know, that 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 ended up getting shot down with entrapment and stuff like that. But that's that's a the, it's the right on that line. Right. Right. Yeah. And so the, yeah. the difference is like when you have uh, when you have people that have means and, and power, you know, they have these defense attorneys to, to bring up these things in court and whatnot. Um, but uh, but yeah, if you if you just have a public defender or whatnot, you're probably not going to get that that kind of counsel. So then, um, when our when this first broke, and our um, our senator was uh, confronted with it, the FBI agents came to his house. the uh, The news was, was watching. They actually had like these night cameras. And then after the FBI agents left, they they went to his door and uh, asked him what's up. <laughs> Cut this in the right place. Here Just we go. Just a few minutes ago, two members of the FBI were here. And for the first time, I learned about this, and Golly really don't gee. know any of the facts of anything, and therefore I have no position. To what, what happened? <laughs> he looks what honest, I, doesn't what he? I don't know is, uh, what's he happening at the department, but the department have he does have something kind of wholesome about him, <laughs> like a I'm little bit like Mr. Rogers, like <laughs> in a slimy way. Right now, it appears that I am, and that, that's about all for now. 
far, no one has been indicted or convicted. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. <You're... laughs> All right, let's see what we got next here. Um Oh, here we go. All right, you ready to go to uh you ready to go to Illinois? Let's go to Illinois. <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening there. Who remembers the name Blagojevich? Blagojevich <laughs> gets busted. Read all about it. The extent of the alleged corruption by Governor Blagojevich stunned even veteran prosecutors like U.S. Attorney Patrick Fitzgerald. They made a big hero out of Fitzgerald. Oh, yeah. Blagojevich and his chief of staff, John Harris, are charged with threatening to withhold state funds from a local hospital and a newspaper company if they refuse the governor's demands for favors and campaign contributions. Investigators say Blagojevich was recorded on telephone wiretaps trying to sell President-elect Barack Obama's Illinois Senate seat. As I recall, he was recorded saying, I, I've got this effing valuable thing. Yep. He's going to get something for it. Yeah, that Red, sounds right. Transcripts to reporters. I've got this thing, and it's there bleeping it golden. I'm just not giving <laughs> it up better. for bleeping nothing. Prosecutors say there is no evidence Mr. Obama was aware of the governor's efforts to auction off his Senate seat. Of course not. Uh, I had no contact with the governor uh, or his office. Unimaginable. Uh, and so we were not, I was not aware of uh, what was happening. The scandal is the latest involving alleged political corruption. Alaska Senator Ted Stevens was found guilty of lying about gifts he received from an oil services company, including improvements on his home. Stevens lost his re-election bid this year, ending a 40-year career in the Senate. Oh, William sad. Jefferson, a congressman from Louisiana, is awaiting trial on charges of bribery and misusing his office. When federal agents raided his home in 2006, they found $90,000 in alleged bribes stashed in a freezer. Jefferson also lost like his you election bid. Alan Lickman is a president. I'm in the wrong Missouri line of work. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there you go. We're into, I don't know, the 80s. Not, no, we're into the 2000s now. But Bl still, still good times. Yeah, because it, was, yeah, um, it was Obama. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, Ted Stevens. Yeah, so, so Ted Stevens was a character. Do you, um, you're probably too young for this. You know, what he was... Um, what, what he was famous for. Here we go. I'll play it here. Oops. Not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck that you just dump something on. Wait, we're gonna... Some information over the hill. Right. They, about they, the they, they deliver in other ways, but they want to deliver vast amounts of information over the internet. And again, the internet is not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's, it's a series of tubes. <laughs> Not a big truck. It's tubes. <laughs> it's a series of tubes. I mean, isn't that kind of true? <laughs> <of> tubes. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that true in some way? <laughs> he would say, or we could say, no. That, that was another thing he was famous for, was that he, he gave this speech on the floor, and he just said, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 